Okay, this is how I'm going to temporarily repair the two front landing gear on the Inspire 1 <clears throat> that from about three feet it dropped to the ground. And um, so when it dropped, it uh, created an issue with, with the... Um, I don't know, I guess you call them shock absorbers on the front landing gear only. What I did was, if you can see here on this one, I've already repaired this one. Let me slide it over so maybe you can see it. What I did was, is I cleaned off the landing gear, pulled it up, and inside the landing gear is a little wire because of the oil has already leaked out. A little wire they broke off down here in the bottom and the little wire inside had a little plunger in it I think to keep the oil from slopping around so what I did was I went in there and I cut with the scissors or actually it was a pair of side cutters I cut the wire and I was able to then slide it out like you can see this one here slide it out okay then I took and cleaned it off really good made sure that the, it wasn't a lot of oil on it a little bit of water a little bit of uh, Dawn because Dawn cuts oil get it cleaned off good clean off the bottom real good because you're gonna make the repair and what I did was I took some shrink wrap, some heat shrink that you normally would put on um, wires. If you're doing a, a, a wire job, the, sh the shrink wrap. And what I did, as you can see on this one over here, I put this up on, on the tube when it was sticking out. Then slid this shock down back into position and you twist it until you feel it's really in there nice and firm then I attached slid the tubing down over top till it was down here and on there heated it up with a heat gun and I'll show you how I did that again okay I'm going to do it again so that you can you can all see it. I think you can see that pretty good. Okay, so as I said, clean this off real good. Got to make sure you don't have any oil on it because I think that makes it a better seal for the tubing. I take and score the bottom of this a little bit. You can use a razor blade or uh, a knife or some kind of a cutting tool give it a couple of scores down there so that the shrink wrap has something to grip to make sure it's still cleaned off nice and good so you don't get any oil on it cause it not to grip very good clean off the bottom best you can then you're going to take the shrink wrap and you're going to then put it on there like that you're going to turn the tubing until you get it to go back down to where it cracked off so it, it fits in just like it normally would down in there good you're gonna slide this sh shrink down as far as you can using a heat gun
heat it up and shrink the shrink around it. So that it grips it good. Let it cool down a little bit. And there you have a quick fix for the landing gear. As you know, inside of here, you, yes, you can replace these. In fact, I did purchase new landing gear. But it's very tricky. There's a coaxial because there's an antenna in the very front landing gear right here. So I wasn't that confident that I could do it. And I know they get a lot of money to replace that. So my thought was is that if we get this down there properly, that doesn't necessarily cause it because most of the flex is in the landing gear themselves. So when you push down on it, watch the landing gear. They still flex just fine. Not much different than what the rear ones will do. Rear ones are a little stiffer, but for my purposes, that sure beats about a $500 fix on just these two little goofy shock absorbers, which I think DJI was a little wacky in putting on them in the first place. Because there aren't too many of their other copters that have a landing gear shock absorber with oil in it. So that's my kind of quick fix to the situation rather than doing the soldering and the unscrewing and screwing around with the motors. The ESCs that are inside here, you have to replace all of this just to get at those two shock absorbers. So that's my quick fix for any of you guys out there. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking because I, I still believe that is a good solution to a quick fix on the landing gear when you break these off down low down here. Because like I say, it dropped from about two or three feet when I was doing a battery discharge because I like to take and put it discharge them down quite a bit and then as you can see over there I put it in my smart power charger and give it a recycle uh, however I went a little too low and it, the motors just shut off at about two or three feet so that's what happened and that's the fix have a good one